Hey everybody, Sean from Silicon Theory here, and I am here to talk to you today about three things you should consider before buying the Galaxy Note 9. And yes, I did wear a jacket to make me look smarter. Number one, it's an expensive phone, but you're probably not going to be paying full price. Consider that Samsung's already launched a rebate and trade-in program that's pretty robust and gets you anywhere from between $300 and $450 off your existing phone, depending on what it is and what kind of condition it's in. That's a pretty significant discount, especially if you're talking about a $1,000 or $1,250 phone. When you know that you're going to keep this phone for a long time and it's an investment, or if you're the kind of person that tends to upgrade every year, you can definitely rest assured that you're going to be getting good value for your money by taking that price tag and knocking it down a significant sum. Samsung even offers its own financing, so you can take that money and spread it out over a couple of years and give yourself a very reasonable payment for a very quality top tier flagship. Number two, you should probably buy the $1,250 phone. I know, I know. Hear me out though. So Samsung's going to be selling two different SKUs of this device. The $1,000 SKU, which has 128 gigs of base storage and 6 gigs of RAM, and the second SKU, which costs $1,250, comes with 512 gigs of storage and 8 gigs of RAM. This is a big deal and a big difference, especially since we've already touched on in point one that you're probably not going to be paying full price. You may want to go for the more expensive option. Number one, again, if you're going to hold onto this phone for a while, you're going to get a lot more use out of a phone that has higher specs. Two, those higher specs mean much more headroom, especially for things like Android with Samsung's experience skin over the top of it. The more RAM, the better. And as much as Google might pretend that four gig of RAM is sufficient to run stock Android, let's be honest, Samsung phones aren't running stock Android. So the more RAM you can get, the better they're probably gonna perform. And in the long run, the longer they will perform that well. Third, and lastly, don't sleep on the S Pen. Samsung's done something really interesting with this year's S Pen. They've made it Bluetooth and they've got it charging with a capacitor inside of it. That means not only will it charge fast, but it should also hold that charge for a really long time. Using Bluetooth connection means that you can do a lot more with it than you can with a traditional stylus in any other Note or any other smartphone that currently has one, which isn't really that many phones. But the point is, you can definitely count on developers because of Samsung's large install base to be able to come up with some really creative things that you can do with this. Already, you can use the pen to trigger the camera, which it launches by default, double click it to do some really, really neat effects when you have your phone somewhere else and you're just carrying the stylus around. The APK is gonna be going out shortly so developers can write their apps to use the multifunction button on the S Pen to do even more than it can right now. And like we've already talked about, if you're gonna hold on to this phone, if you're the kind of person who's really looking at upgrading to a Samsung flagship, and it's a big phone, 6.4 inches, make no mistake, this is a big phone. But you're gonna find much more use and much more value out of it as time goes on, because the S Pen is not being limited to just a single function right now, or even just a single set of Samsung apps. So that's it. Those are three things you should consider before you buy the Galaxy Note 9. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment below if you think I missed anything or if you think that there's something else we should be considering before people buy the Note 9. As always, you can find all of our content over at silicontheory.com. Check us out on social. We are at Silicon Theory on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure if you like the video to and also subscribe if you want more of our content. Thanks again for watching and remember we will talk tech soon.